The world is full of guys who are just moving the lawn and watching TV. They're already dead and they don't even know it. So I have a book back home. It's about people who have sailed around the world alone. And there's a quote there that kind of stuck with me. <laughs> and it's, it says, the world is full of guys who are just moving the lawn and watching TV. They're already dead and they don't even know it. So, I think quite early on in my life, I asked myself, what am I going to do with my life? What's my purpose? Which adventures, which travels um, am I going to, um, to go on? Which countries do I want to see and so on? Which is quite normal when you're at that age. But I think what it's really about is finding your world, the world that is real to you. And here's another quote. There's a movie, the movie that kind of shaped my life and personality, I would say, uh, Jeremiah Johnson. If any of you have seen that movie, let me know in the comments. It's an old movie, um, and the main character, played by Robert Redford, um, he uh, encounters, well, he's a mountain man, and he encounters another mountain man. <sighs> Can't remember his name now, is it, uh, was it Del Gu? And Mr. Gu <laughs> says, uh, he, he to Mr. Gu says that he was talking to his mother. And his mother said, why are you up there in the mountains? Why are you not uh, among normal people? And Mr. Gu answered to his mother, well, the mountains, that's, that's the real world. So he needed to be in the real world, up in the mountains, because that's where the real world is. Now, I hope I rem remember that correctly. But it stuck with me as well, and I think my message to myself and to you, if you want to listen, is that you need to find your world, the world that is real to you. And I get lots of messages and um, emails from people, and they 
say, basically, many people say to me that they are living in a city and it doesn't feel real to them. It feels artificial. And I reply, well, that's because it is. It is artificial. Here, this is where the real world is. If you spend your life looking at the screen or at your mobile phone, sitting in a city apartment, and I would say that's not reality. I'm sorry, but that's my, my opinion. It's not reality. It's not the real world. This is the real world. So, a part of me says, don't say that because lots of people will go out in the woods and mountains and, and so on now and there won't be any more peace and quiet. But I think this message is not for everyone. That I think it's, it's for those of you who already know this. That city life, it's not real. It's not, that's not the real world. And it's like that movie, again, <laughs> a movie reference here, um, Matrix. It feels to me more and more like people are really living in a matrix and they are quite happy about that. And they don't want to feel the real world. They don't want to feel the cold, the pain, they don't even want to feel the happiness of the, you know, simple pleasures. <laughs> Making food over an open fire, that gives me immense joy. But also, I couldn't feel that satisfaction of such simple tasks if I didn't also have the negative sides of it. Like this night when I was cold and I had to get up and uh, pull this uh, survival bag around my sleeping bag. It's not a big deal but it's like to some people I think it's that's that's actually too much for them. But I know you're not like that if you're still watching. I think you're already on your way out into the real world, if you are not there already. So it's basically just a very simple overnight trip. We got there last night, as I said, and we are ah, it's finished. We are going back in a couple of hours, something like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I was cold. <clears throat> during the night I brought my summer sleeping bag and it was actually snowing last night and it's the end of May so it just reminds you that this is Norway so uh, we can have snow in during summer actually even here in southeastern Norway it doesn't happen very often but it does happen actually Bacon sandwich. A thick layer of bacon, that's essential for... It's very important when it comes to bushcraft 
that you always put oh, ah, well a solid thick layer of bacon on your sandwich. Okay, just wanted to show you uh, my setup here, my uh, sleeping system. Uh, this is my shirt. Now, first of all, I have this sleeping pad. It's a Klimit sleeping pad. Um, and my Jerven bag, winter camo. <laughs> it has some sort of reflective uh, material. Uh, inside it, so it reflects heat back to the body. Um, and my sleeping bag inside, because I got cold during the night. So this will not be a good solution long term if I was traveling for many days, uh, because uh, of the con condensation. And this is a down sleeping bag. So it would get wet, uh, but for one night it's okay. So, and I was very comfortable uh, after I put this on, because with only the sleeping bag, it just got too cold. <laughs> 